Today I'm going to show you how to get this awesome floral look on your nails inspired by a pair of Doc Martens. All the items you'll see in this video you can find at nastynails.com in an all-in-one nail art kit. To start off, I painted my nails with Essie Licorice and let that dry. Next I'm getting Essie Bachelorette Bash and Blanc and I'm going to mix them together to create a light pink. For this light pink you're going to want just a little bit of the hot pink and more of the white polish. Then grab your nail art brush and mix them together. Next, put some white polish down and the hot pink polish down. A helpful trick is to put these polishes on a piece of foil which prevents them from drying too quickly. Get your nail art brush and dip it in the light pink polish. And you're going to start off by making a circle shape on the right side of your nail. Um, you're going to want it to be a little bit lumpy around the edges, so don't make a perfect circle. To add some dimension to the flower, you're going to get your nail art brush and dip it in the hot pink polish. Start off by painting a dot in the center of the flower, and then paint little half circles around that dot you just made, and that will create the dimension of the flower. And last, you're going to get the white nail polish and create some more of those little half circle shapes. Be sure to not cover up the other colors, so make sure that the light pink and the hot pink polishes are still showing through. For the second flower, I'm getting that hot pink polish and creating another circle shape next to the original one. Next, I'm getting the lighter pink polish and doing the same as I did with the original flower, I'm creating a bit of dimension. So I'm starting off with the dot and then the half circles around it. And last, I'm getting Essie Blanc and adding a few more lines. For the leaves, I'm getting Essie Blanc and So Psyched. And I'm going to mix these two together to create a light green. First you're going to get your nail art brush and dip it in the light green polish. To create the leaves I basically just do little triangle shapes coming off around the flowers. Another type of leaf shape you can do is just paint a thin line and then create a few tinier leaves coming off of that line. After painting the leaves with that lighter green shade, I'm going to dip my brush in that original dark green, Essie So Psyched, and add some dimension to each of the leaves. To do that, I just add a thin line through each leaf. Once you're finished adding the darker green, you're done with this nail. You can either go on and do more flowers on each of your nails or leave it just like this with one accent nail. Be sure to check out the nail art kit for this design at www.nastynails.com/nailart. Thanks for watching.